While campaign season is in full swing and in Texas, the southern border has become the top issue. One America's Jack Vasovic speaks with a former Border Patrol agent now running for Congress. Well, we're very excited to welcome you here to One American News for the first time. Greg Hill, he's running in Texas 22 for Congress. It's an open seat. Very much for being with us. Thank you so much. No, I'm glad to be here. Excited to be here as, as well. So tell me a little bit about your background. So I am a former high school Spanish teacher mm -hmm. and former U.S. Border Patrol agent, the only candidate in the race that's a former U.S. Border Patrol agent. I also uh, had my own law practice for about 12 years. I became a three-term Pearland City Cat. It's the largest city in the district, the city of Pearland. So I was a three-term uh, Pearland City Council member and mayor pro tem. I also was a prosecutor for several cities throughout the district, was appointed the associate municipal court judge for the city of Alvin, and then later ran for uh, judge countywide and was elected in the last 2018 uh, Republican primary and became county court of law number one and probate court judge. Just came off the bench October the 1st to run full time for U.S. Congress. So tell me, what are some of the major issues facing the district? Um, immigration reform, local issues, and then just the national debt and this socialist left leaning push that's going to just kill our nation. So tell me about being a Border Patrol agent and how that informs this, your stance on immigration. So working as a U.S. Border Patrol agent, it was kind of like playing Red Rover, Red Rover. You know, let Johnny come over, you deport him, and they come back within a month and a half or so. It would have been great to have a wall back then, and the president obviously is pushing that. And the locations that we have a wall currently, you can take a look at it, be it San Diego or Yuma or Tucson or El Paso. And legal, excuse me, illegal immigration has declined by like 90%, um, some places 92%. So working as a former Border Patrol agent, uh, I, I, I know that that's, that's important. That's the first thing. Now, the wall is not the end all be all. We still need more boots on the ground. We need more immigration judges. We need to streamline the legal immigration process as it relates to permanent residency. I can speak specifically to some of those issues that relates to either, you know, non-immigrant status, visa versus um, non-visa. And so, I tell people jokingly, but it's true. The only thing that's changed since I was a Border Patrol agent 25 years ago is my age and my waist size. Now, uh, for, your, for your district specifically, um, going into 2020, what do you see some of the challenges facing, uh, facing your candidacy? The district makes up three counties, Fort Bend County, Northern Brazoria County, and Southeast Harris County. Fort Bend County went blue this last time, and that's 65% of the district. Mm -hmm. So that's the major challenge, is making sure that we keep this seat red. Actually, where can people go to find out more information? Uh, electgreghill.com. All right, Greg Hill, thank you very much. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.